There is Miss Vera Seals of Leicester, who wins the Women's Amateur Billiard Championship at Burroughs Hall, London. She beats Mrs. Morland Smith of Bournemouth by 1,000 points to 499 and makes a 62 break, a record in this competition. The Friendship Inn at Gorba near Barnsley has a billiards table, much used by local miners. The table is true and plumb, like many a good Yorkshire cricket pitch. But once the balls start rolling, they do a sort of Fred Truman. Bryn Jones has been a miner for six years. His father, Fred, for 36 years. Between them, they know a thing or two about mining. But this game defeats them. The table is presided over by a personable parrot called Lucy. She knows all the answers and frequently addresses a ball, putting a jinx on it. Not bad, but still crooked. One day, we'll get Joe Davis along to show you guys how it should be done. Meanwhile, Lucy's on cue to battle the Joneses. You guys haven't the first idea. Frustrated, Fred and Bryn stack their cues and head home for supper. While Lucy, with a parched parrot's palate, has one set up until the next gullible humans turn up. Tom Webster, the famous cartoonist, opens the sealed envelope containing his handicapping of the big professional billiards tournament in London and announces the winner. The winner of this tournament is Mr. Tom Newman. <laughs> Mr. C.B. Cochran then makes an equitable distribution of the prizes. Thurston's, the famous billiards and snooker centre, was bombed in the days of Blitz, but now it's had a gala reopening. One of the famous people present was Mr. Pill, at 93, the oldest professional billiards player. He's listening to the president of the Professionals Association, the Duke of Roxburgh, who gave his reasons for welcoming the return of big billiards. Ever since the disaster of the bomb in 1940, billiards and snooker matches, I think, have been rather run on a haphazard basis. I personally, for one, have not seen a single game since before the war. Watched by Valerie Hobson, the late Tom Newman's daughter, Mary, played the first shot on her father's table. Tommy Lawton was there, and so was the FA secretary, Mr. Stanley Routes. Joe Davis, champion of champions, gave a demonstration of his skill at this opening of the Leicester Square Hall, as Thurston's is now to be called. <laughs> Lynn Joyce of Itmar took part in a game, and Sid Fields was another star present on the occasion of this billiards and snooker comeback. Well, 
You won the championship, Miss Carpenter. Now, what about playing one of those long jinnies which stood you in such good stead during the championship? Well, I'll try. Look here, Mr. Movieton. Have I got to keep this up all day, or do I get some lunch? <laughs> well, after all those cannons, Mac, can you do something really clever? What can you make out of this? Well, what about a park shot? Pop the red into the basket and jump into the hat for a cannon. Look out. <laughs> convinced then that you would one day be lady champion. Would you like to play this cushion cannon for me, which helps to get a player over a very difficult position? Well, you show me how to do it first, Tom, and then I'll have a try. Certainly. There you are, Silver, and I'll see what you can do with it. All right, Bob and Mark. Now, don't forget to use that shot in the championship this year as it comes up. Very well, but I'm hoping to make a large number of points off nursery cannons this year. I've been practicing them a lot. Would you like to see some? I most certainly should. Two. Six. That was great, Selma. I've never seen them play better. Thanks, Tom. And I wish you all the best of luck in the forthcoming championship. 